My name is Frank Partnoy. I'm the George E. Barrett Professor of Law and Finance at the University of San Diego School of Law, and I'm the founding director of the Center for Corporate and Securities Law. We've had, uh, over the years, a number of very interesting events, conferences, sponsored research at the Center, and we're very excited today to be uh, co-sponsoring a conference on media and markets, how reputations are won and lost in modern financial markets. The first thing I want to do is to ask Rupert Younger to raise his hand and say hello. Uh, we're co-sponsoring the conference with the Oxford University Center for Corporate Reputation, which Rupert founded in 2008. It's a remarkable center, and he's a remarkable guy. And you'll be hearing from him when we have the second panel. Um, I thought I would just take a couple of minutes uh, first just to pause for Biz Stone, who is out using the restroom right now, uh, but, but, but also to uh, say a few words about how the conference came about and what we're planning to do and to give you a little bit of a roadmap uh, to, to, uh, to follow for the day. So this uh, conference, like a lot of great ideas, started over pints at the Bear, right, in Oxford. Uh, I'm a, an international research fellow for the for Rupert Center, and we were talking about our respective interests, the, uh, the Oxford Center's interest in corporate reputation and, and our center's interest not only in corporate and securities law, but in modern information markets and financial regulation, financial markets generally. And so we decided th these are the two interesting strands of ideas. Let's, let's hold a conference and try to put the two ideas together. And at the time, uh, it, this was in September, so Oxford had the comparative weather advantage then. It was a lovely night, and Rupert very wisely said, let's do this in San Diego, anticipating that it would be 78 degrees today and sunny. And I think the reason why we might have a dearth of students here today is in part because they're out surfing or golfing instead of getting all of our wisdom. Um, but that was where, where the idea came from. And so the first thing we talked about was figuring out who the great minds are that we'd be able to, to get. And you have in your program a list of the uh, 13 wise people that you'll, you'll hear from today. Um, and the idea was to get people from academia, people from, uh, from, from business, and uh, people from journalism. And we've got uh, all three of those represented. Uh, here's the plan. The, the idea, again, is to talk about modern information markets and reputation. And we decided that there were three broad umbrella topics that we could consider. And the three topics, again, are listed in the program. The first one, which we'll get to in just a second, is on technological change. How social media, hardware and software technology, um, the proliferation of, of new uh, uses of information and information transmission mechanisms have affected reputation. Um, the, and, and so we'll do that. We'll spend 75 minutes. Each person will give a, a speech of about seven, eight minutes, and then we'll all mix it up, and I'll be the moderator for the first panel, and then we'll take questions from, from you. Then we'll take a break. Uh, you can mill about, talk about how wise we are, enjoy the sun. Then we'll do another 75 minutes that Rupert will lead on the proliferation of stakeholders and audiences. And the idea here is kind of related to technology, is that, again, the internet, social media, uh, changes in information markets over time have made it much more complex to preserve corporate reputation. Who is the audience? It's not just about shareholders or traditional stakeholders. It's much more global. It's much faster moving. And so we'll have a panel, again, speeches and then panel discussion of, of stakeholders. And then panel three will be on polarization. And again, a related idea, but the umbrella set of topics is kind of about how opinion in information markets have led to opinion uh, becoming more polarized, that not just MSNBC versus Fox News, but more generally in terms of thinking about a corporation, you either love Walmart or you hate Walmart. Um, the idea is that, you're, that there's more of a split and to examine the causes of that split. So uh, uh, my role and, and Rupert's role and, um, and for our third panel, uh, Vic Flesher, my colleague, and Rowena Oligario, uh, one of Rupert's colleagues at Oxford. Our role will be largely to step aside and let, uh, let our panelists uh, shine, but also to, to mix it up a little bit. Um, okay, so our, our panel starting off, uh, we just had a lunch, and the main purpose of the lunch was to figure out what the order of the panelists would be. That was the profound insight that we had, and I'm still not quite sure exactly what the order is, but, but we'll, I'll just go ahead and cement it now, which is that we'll start uh, with Clive Priddle, the publisher of Public Affairs, who uh, has published many, many 
uh, brilliant books and also has published my last two books. Uh, and then we'll have Sena Aral, who's done some fascinating research. Uh, he's a professor at MIT on social networks, and he'll have some uh, uh, pictures to show about a couple of recent experiments. Then uh, Felix Salmon will offend everyone in the audience in some way uh, or another, uh, hopefully me at the, at the forefront. And then Biz Stone will, will have some soaring uh, insights and genius rhetoric to uh, take us all home into a discussion. So that's the plan. Um, I'm very honored to, to be amongst uh, all of these folks. And I just want to say, I, oh, Tara's in here. So thank you to Tara uh, Murphy, especially, and to Trang Pham, who have been the organizers to put all this together and get all these brilliant people here so seamlessly. So let me actually make sure that we clap for you two. And I was supposed to stall for 15 minutes, so that's exactly what I've done. It's 1.45, so we'll keep the trains running exactly on time, and we'll start off with Clive.